Well, hey guys, this is Arnie from Smartphones Recapped. Top 5 iPhone 14 Pro leaks and rumors. Let's go! Alright, let's start off with the new design. And it seems that this year the notch is finally going away, making way for the new pill shaped cutout and punch hole design. Multiple reports suggest that the iPhone 14 Pro series will ditch the notch in favor of two smaller cutouts. On the front of the display, there would be a punch hole for the selfie camera and a pill shaped cutout for the true depth sensor. This is gonna be the first design change since iPhone 10, and although it is not significant, it's enough to make people upgrade to the new iPhones. Well, guys, things are getting juicy. Let's talk about some serious stuff. A lot of rumors and reports suggest that this year Pro Model iPhones will come with a new 48 megapixel camera, guys. This is going to be a huge upgrade over the current 12 megapixel camera and it's going to allow iPhone users to take high resolution photos and record 8K videos. Guys, although some Android phones allow you to shoot 8K video, but to be honest, the quality is not that good because they just let you shoot 24 FPS videos. And besides that, for some reason, videos are cropped in and the stabilization is terrible. So yes guys, technically you can shoot 8K video on Android phone, but it's not usable. And guys, we all know Apple and I'm more than sure that they're gonna execute 8K video recording superbly well, allowing us to shoot 8K videos at 30 FPS and giving us some decent stabilization. And guys, this new 48 megapixel camera is expected to be available only to Pro Model iPhone users. Well guys, it's time to talk about USB-C. This year, finally, Pro Model iPhones might get USB Type-C. Guys, I think it's absolutely necessary to have it on iPhone. It is almost impossible to get by with lightning connectivity, given the fact that Pro Model iPhones are capable of shooting 4K ProRes videos, which occupy a lot of space on your phone. So USB Type-C, which allows faster data transfer speeds, is a must for the new iPhones. Well friends, now let's talk about the new chipset. This year guys, all Pro Model iPhones are expected to feature a 16 Bionic chipset, which is gonna be based on ARM's V9 architecture set and TSMC's new 4 nanometer process node. So guys, expect better efficiency, faster AI and machine learning capabilities, and around 20% performance boost over its predecessor. And guys, one thing that's going to make this upgrade significant is the ARM's V9 architecture set, which will be adapted by Apple this year. It's going to significantly improve the performance and efficiency of the chip and give Apple engineers a lot of room for tweaking the new S16 Bionic chipset. And last but not least, display. You guys all remember that with iPhone 13 Pro series, Apple introduced new LTPO displays with 120Hz refresh rate, which are dynamic and are capable of dropping down the refresh rate to 10Hz and quickly ramping it up to 120Hz when needed, providing super smooth user experience. So guys, this year Apple is expected to ship the new iPhones with second generation of LTPO displays which allow you to drop down the refresh rate to 1Hz and save more energy. And on top of this, Apple might bump up the peak brightness of the display up to 1200 nits from the current 1000, which is gonna be a nice improvement and make reading news, browsing websites or watching videos in the sun more convenient. So guys, judging by the latest rumors, nothing revolutionary, just simple but quite useful upgrades. So hopefully we'll get all of them. Well guys, this wraps up for today's video, please subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more videos and I'll see you soon.